all right folks so for this one i'm going to do the radiator cap um you don't normally need to do this in the race regs or anything like that so i mean you don't need to do the uh, water filler either but um i have had the radiator filler cap pop off on me on my fire blade and i never found it which really fucked me off actually because i couldn't do the rest of the track day um so the belly pan's already off so that's half of the job uh, pretty much done in terms of getting fairings off just need to remove this one taken all the bolts off um, already uh, all I need to do is move that away around this I don't have to take that off and as I lift this away I'll unclip the um, indicator should be easy should be able to do it with my finger without having to use a screwdriver it's the little clips that have like a little uh, notch on one thing and then a square bit that goes over the notch on the other so you just lift them away and it comes out dead easy uh, right so let's get cracking Right, so when you get this, um, this bit is the bit that's going to restrict you, unless you've got uh, no crash protection, but just make sure that doesn't catch most of this round, you can get it off pretty easy. And then it's just a case of getting the uh, indicator unclipped. Right, so that is the uh, indicator, and it's just this little thing here. Once you get that up, it should come out really easy. He says trying it one-handed. There we go. That's that one. There you go. And away she goes. Right, so I'm just going to show you where I'm going to lock wire from and to. So I'm going to go from this tab on the uh, radiator cap, and then there's a hole just there that I'm going to lock wire around. Hopefully, I can reach into there without too much trouble. Um, if not, I'll have to find a, a better solution. Well, the only reason I'm not going around this is these are plastic um, and the lock wire is quite thin and I don't want it to cut through and I don't want to go on any of those or anything like that so um, I don't think I'd have an issue if I'm honest going down here but just to be safe uh, I'm going to go straight over there um, as long as it's not in the way of this um, which I think is the clutch cable. So that's that done. Let's put it on the back. Uh, when you've done cutting, just make sure you give the uh, cap a bit of a clean inside and out. You don't want any of the crap to uh, go on your bike. Here's my lock wire. Just going to cut this crappy end off. Pick a good end. Always hold on to it. Um, I'll give myself a nice long piece for this just so I've got plenty to grab hold of. Okay. So I'm going to start in the most awkward position, which is through the back of this. Just stick a little bend into it so I can grab it when it comes through. Before I do anything, I'm just going to check the path of the wire. So it's going to go pretty much right over there. Um, so you can see we go, yeah, I think underneath makes sense rather than over. In terms of the clutch cable, just keeps it out of the way. And then I'll probably put a little bit of tape around this just to stop it from rubbing on my uh, clutch cable sheath. I was going to do all right with that. Just going to 
gonna cut these. There we go, I'll make it a bit shorter for when I give it a spin. There we go. Done. So next, all I'll do is, because the um, clutch is rubbing on this, I'll just wrap it with some electrical tape, uh, just to make sure that, I mean, the, the lock wire will be fine, it'll be the uh, rubber on the clutch cable that'll get uh, worn through. So now it's just a case of tidying that end off, uh, give that a good clip, <coughs> push that over that way, and that should be quite the way, and uh, job done. Put your fairing back on. Don't forget to plug your indicator in. Right, so that's that done. That's uh, a nice easy one. Although, um, I don't know what you guys will think, but when you're drilling the um, radiator cap, uh, it took quite a while. That was a tough one, that. Uh, much more harder than the water pump bolts. Um, so, make sure you've got some good drill bits. Also, if you have any comments, anything else you want me to cover, stick it in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was useful. And if you want more, please subscribe. Thanks.